Two sisters are working around the clock sewing masks for those who need them during the coronavirus pandemic. One woman's husband, an Army veteran, is helping them fulfill orders from overseas, but he says recently Facebook shut them down. News 5's Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola. Cody, do we know why this happened? Well, he's still trying to figure that out after emailing back and forth with Facebook for about the past week. They were already paying for advertising when the account was disabled. Aaron Thompson's wife, Mothaw Thompson, and her sister, Uwada Storbeck, have sewn more than a thousand masks in Navarre. While they sew, Aaron takes care of the orders and helps customers. He just started a website, MyDesignsFlorida.com. He says it's hurt them not being able to advertise anymore on Facebook. I started doing a Facebook sponsored ad, and it ran for about five days, and we were pulling in about 1,200 customers a day and then one day uh, they, I was going to double the, the ad amount that I was paying them and then they just deactivated my account. He's a disabled army veteran from Fort Walton Beach working as a contractor right now in Africa. He thinks maybe because of his location it seems suspicious but he hopes those who need a mask will still reach out to them. They're washable, reusable, three layer masks. We make our three layer that my wife's and our uh, her sister, they're all about quality. They, everything's 100% uh, cotton. They've given discounted and free masks to healthcare workers, the homeless, and those who need them but can't pay. Otherwise, masks are $10 each. They're sending them in the mail and doing contactless pickup locally at their house. And if demand increases, Aaron says they can keep up. I have 20 more sewers and fabric cutters on standby, just waiting, uh, just waiting to see if we get the orders in. We have reached out to Facebook to find out why their ad account was disabled. We're waiting to hear back. Live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.